Hi, I'm Thomas. Welcome back. We're continuing to look at partial fractions. This example is case 3. The denominator has a linear factor and a quadratic factor. In our example, 3x squared plus 4x plus 17 over quantity 2x plus 1 times quantity x squared plus 5. As always, we'll follow our algorithm. Step 1, split denominator into fractions a and bx plus c. Those will be our numerators. Note that the b term goes with the quadratic factor. So we begin with step 1. 3x squared plus 4x plus 17 over 2x plus 1 times x squared plus 5 is an identity with our first fraction will have the numerator a. The denominator is the linear factor, 2x plus 1, plus the second fraction with the numerator of bx plus c. And the denominator is the quadratic factor, x squared plus 5. 2 combined to 1 fraction. On the right side, we're going to combine to one fraction with the denominator 2x plus 1 times x squared plus 5. On the left side, we need to multiply a by x squared plus 5. a is divided by 2x plus 1. To divide by 2x plus 1 and x squared plus 5, we want to multiply a by the other factor, x squared plus 5. And now our bx and our c terms are going to split. bx we're going to multiply by the other term. The denominator above is x squared plus 5. The other term we want to multiply by is 2x plus 1. And now plus c also times 2x plus 1. That is step 2. We've combined to 1 fraction. In step 3, we'll create an identity of numerators. Notice that the left and right sides of the identity both have the same denominator. So now we'll set up the identity of numerators. 3x squared plus 4x plus 17 is an identity with a times x squared plus 5 plus bx times 2x plus 1 plus c times 2x plus 1. Going to step 4, solve for a, b, c using zeros. So as we did with case 1 and 2, we will by inspection identify an appropriate x value to select to eliminate terms in the numerator and solve for individual values a, b, and c one at a time. I see that the b and the c terms both have a factor 2x plus 1. If I use x equals negative 1 half, then that's going to zero out both of those terms. On the left side of the identity, and now we're going to set up an equation because we're solving for one particular value. We have 3 times x squared. Negative 1 half squared is 1 over 4, so this term is 3 over 4. Plus 4 times negative 1 half is minus 2, plus 17 equals. The term a is the only term that will be remaining in the numerator, a times x squared plus 5. x squared is negative 1 half squared. That will result in 1 over 4. When we add with 5, which is the same as 20 over 4, we'll have a times 21 over 4. Continuing on to our b term, we know that 2x plus 1 with an input of negative 1 half for x is going to result in multiplication by 0, so the b term will be 0, and the same result for the c term. 
Now we can simplify on the left side of the equation. We have the value 63 over 4 equals on the left side of the equation 21 over 4a, which solves to a equals 3. Notice the note in step 4, solve for value with different factors last. a, b, and c, of those three values, b has two factors, x and 2x plus 1. So we're going to move from a to c, and in fact, in case 3, we can always go in the same order. So I'm going to make an update to our algorithm right now. And here's our updated algorithm. Note now that in step 4, we're specifically solving in order A, C, B. The reason for this particular order is that B and C will always have a shared factor, and therefore it will be easy to zero out both of those terms, leaving A for solution. From there, B will always have X as a factor. So with a solution for A, then an input of 0 for X, which will zero out B, we will simplify the solution for C. And then finally, with solutions for A and C, we'll be able to solve for B. So continuing step 4, our second value for solution is C. To solve for C, we're going to set X equal to 0. On the left side of the equation, we'll have 0 plus 0 plus 17. This will be equal to A, which I'm going to for now replace with a box, times X squared plus 5, or 0 plus 5, which is 5, plus the B term when we multiply by 0, inputting 0 for X, B times 0 times anything, is going to be 0, and then our C term will be plus C times 2 times 0 plus 1 is C times 1. Now the box on the right side of the equation. That was A. Now we've just solved for A. A equals 3. So in place of A, I'll input the value 3. On the left side of the equation, 17. On the right side of the equation, 3 times 5 is 15, plus C times 1 is C, and C equals 2. And now solving for B, I can select any X value other than 0 and negative 1 half, the two X values I've already used. I'll select a value that will simplify my calculations, X equals 1. And on the left side of the equation, we'll have 3 times x squared, or 3 times 1 squared. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 4 times 1, plus 4, plus 17, equals a, a box for now, times x squared plus 5. 1 squared is 1, 1 plus 5 is 6, plus b, times x, x is 1, times 2x plus 1. 2x is 2 times 1, or 2, plus 1 is 3. And the c term, we'll use a box for the moment for c, times 2x plus 1. Again, x being 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Now to fill in the boxes, we have an A value of 3, so I'll replace the A with 3, and we have a C value of 2, so I'll replace C with 2. And now to simplify on the left side of the equation, 3 plus 4 plus 7 is 24. On the right side of the equation, 3 times 6 is 18, plus... 1 times 3 is 3, we'll have 3b, plus 2 times 3 is 6. And now notice what we have when we subtract 18 and 6 from both sides, we have 0 equals 3b, and thus our value for b is 0. So we've completed step 4, now going to step 5, write solution. 
3x squared plus 4x plus 17 over 2x plus 1 times x squared plus 5 is an identity with our first fraction is a over 2x plus 1. So in the denominator, we have 2x plus 1. Our a value is 3. And in the second fraction, our denominator is x squared plus 5. Now our b term is 0. I'm going to keep the b term in the numerator for the moment to show that the answer matches the general form. So bx will be 0x, and our c value is 2, 0x plus 2. Now I'm going to simplify, but I want to show how the right side of the identity, 3 over 2x plus 1 plus 0x plus 2 over x squared plus 5, matches the form of two fractions with numerators a and bx plus c. And we can go ahead and simplify on the right side to 3 over 2x plus 1 plus 2 over x squared plus 5. That's our solution, and that concludes our analysis of partial fractions, case 3.